Ah, radioactivity is killing me. Oh my goodness, no, it's not. It is uranium glass. It's made with 2% uranium oxide. You know, not the uranium radioactive isotope that they're making nuclear fission rods with and all that crazy stuff. But it is really cool. So let's get into it. All right, guys, it's me, Rodney at Rusty Relics, and today we're going to talk about uranium glass. Now, this is my personal collection. We're going to talk about how it's made or how it was made. Let me correct myself there because I don't think anybody's making it anymore. They could be, especially with art glass companies. But how it was made, when it was made, and, you know, how to display it and why I collect it personally. So let's get started. Uranium glass is also known as Vaseline glass. It is a type of glassware that contains small amounts of uranium oxide, more specifically about 2% or less. Some pieces may have more and they'll glow a lot stronger, but generally 2% is where it's at. The oxide in the glass is what gives it its distinctive look. It's, it's an alluring green and yellow and and you know, more different shades of green. This one's opaque and it's yellow. It's also uranium glass. Ironically, this piece of milk glass right here or Fenton Amber Crest, isn't that what that's called? Fenton Amber Crest? Yeah, see, she's, she's nodding in the background to let me know I'm correct. But this piece is actually uranium glass. Now let's get into how to identify it. Based, I can identify it based on the color, but if you haven't been around it enough, there's an easier way. And let me show you. Let's cut these lights All out. right, now that the lights are out, guys, we're going to hit it with a black light, just a generic old black light flashlight. Here we go. Boom! Look at that. It's glowing fluorescent green. There's my juicer, fluorescent green. That yellow vase, look at that. That thing is awesome. I would say this one's probably more than 2%, but it could, be, it could be because it's opaque that makes it so much more powerful. Look at this yellow piece. That's that candlestick. Man, that thing is awesome. My cookie jar. Love it. Love it. These old marbles. Look at that. Bright green. This right here. I'm not sure who made this. It could have been Viking Glass Company for all I know. But uh, look at that. That is just amazing. This piece right here, my personal favorite. I looked for it for years, and then somebody brought it to me, a customer. It was amazing. She saw something I had posted, and the next thing I know, she brought it to me at the store. It was, it's, it's truly an amazing gift. This picture, I really like it a lot. It's got a pink handle. The pink does not fluoresce. See how I put my hand in front of it? It doesn't fluoresce. And look at that. That is just absolutely amazing. I love it. Now that milk glass piece, right? So let's shine it from the front. No green, but watch this. Oh my goodness. Uranium glass. We found this one on accident. Also, something called Vic Rock is also, uh, it's white and has uranium glass in it. Now that we know how to identify uranium glass, and you can also identify it during the light, too, because I got two spotlights on me right there. And look, you're still getting a fluoresce, right? It's still fluorescing under the black light, each piece, except for the white. But when you shove it down in it, you still get the same effect as you would when it's dark out. Now that you know how to identify it, let's discuss the era in which it was created. It was created in the late 19th century into the early 20th century. And uh, all the way up to the Great Depression, when you get into the Great Depression, it gets put on a moratorium for a short time and then they lifted it. And then after that, it was created for only a short time. And then, you know, nowadays it's only done in rare pieces by art glass makers because again, they use uranium oxide, which does have a radioactivity level, but it's not like super crazy that's going to irradiate me from sitting in its presence. I don't need to wash my hands after using it. The FDA even says, you know, basically you can have it, just don't drink out of it. 
I wouldn't drink out of it personally. It's probably safe to do so. I wouldn't do it because it's collectible and it's valuable. I mean, this stuff is, there's not much of it left. So when you find it, collect it. Now let's get into why it's so valuable. Obviously uranium glass is valuable because of the scarcity, the, the, the beautifulness, just the, the amazing works that you find in it. And the fact that it's really cool, super cool and glows under a black light. But really, it's because it's scarce. There's not much of it left. And uh, it's hard to find pieces that aren't chipped or broken. So where do you go and look for uranium glass? Uh, you can look on eBay. That's uh, obviously eBay. Uh, antique stores is where you're going to find your more unique pieces, your rarer pieces. Uh, flea markets, you might even find it at yard sales. Uh, Missy found this one at an indoor yard sale and got it for me which was really cool because she knows I like it. Most of my pieces came from Rusty Relics. This was a gift given to me by a friend and then this one was given to me by a customer. So I found those. Uh, this one was found for me. A friend of mine found it at an indoor yard sale and brought it to me, these little marbles. Uh, you can find it in old marble collections. If, you're in, if you collect old marbles, check them with your, your light because more than likely you've got a couple of your clear pieces or your green ones are going to be uranium glass. And the reason why I collect it is because it's cool. I like the way that it glows. How would you go about displaying uranium glass, you might ask? Well, I put it in a cabinet with a black light in it because I think that's the best way to show it off. So when your friends come over to your house to visit or you have house guests or whatnot, when they come over, it's glowing, and they're like, hey, what? why is that glass glowing? And that gives you a conversation piece to start conversation about, oh, man, you know it's got 2% uranium in it, you know? And then they're going to be cautious because they're going to think it's radioactive because that does happen. You know, people think it's, it's harmful. I'm getting all this radiation from it, but I'm really not. It's very generally safe. I'm not grinding it in the dust and... Uh, inhaling the powder from that dust. So that way, pretty much, it's hermetically sealed in the glass is what I'm trying to say. All right, I hope you guys found this video interesting. Uh, I hope maybe you learned something. And if so, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed. Follow us on Facebook for more stuff. We post pictures all the time. We actually have vendors in the store right now who have uh, uranium glass in stock. Oh, one more thing. You might be wondering why they call it Vaseline glass. It's because of its petroleum jelly-like appearance when it's in a thicker form like this. And if you look at it closely, you won't be able to see it on camera, but there's this banding in it. And the banding creates this effect when you're looking at it that's very reminiscent of Vaseline. And that's why they call it that, or petroleum jelly. All right, that about sums up everything. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time.